Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Good Morning Humans. Today, I'm your host, Nathan, and I'm with Julie. Hello, everyone. Today, we have a special guest. Let's welcome Natalie. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Hey, Natalie. How's it going? Good. We are so glad to have Natalie here on the show. Nate, what did you think of Natalie's video? What was it about? I thought it was pretty cool. Being perfect is not really realistic though. Right. Natalie, you were talking about Rinder, I mean, Cinderella and the, why don't you tell us about it? Well, you, everyone's heard the story of Cinderella, right? Yeah. Well, Rendersella is just another take on it. An imperfect take. What makes that story imperfect? Well, they mixed up some sounds. Well, does that make it a bad story? No, that makes it funny. All right, Nate, talking about perfect, funny stories, who do you think is close to perfect? Mm, my mom. Could you explain? Well, you see, Julie, she is an excellent cook, and that is pretty close to perfection in my eyes. Great. What about you, Natalie? Well, not to take Nate's answer, but I would also answer my mom. Is your mom a great cook, too? Well, she is, but the reason I think she's perfect is because of how she lives her life. Wow. That's very that... admirable. Are your moms really perfect? Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody's perfect. Nate, has your mom ever messed up food she was cooking? Well, she usually cooks it pretty good. But there was one time she got mad at me. She threw a shoe at me. I'm just gonna be real here. Was the shoe in the soup? No. Nobody likes shoe soup. No one. Wow. Nobody's exactly. perfect. What about you? Certainly, your mom hasn't lived a perfect life. No, like he said, nobody's perfect. My mom's messed up as well. But it's what you do after you mess up that makes the difference. Natalie, that's a great point. But how do we find perfection? Usually we are comparing ourselves to each other. Maybe you're comparing your mom to Nate's mom. We're not gonna talk about my mom. So what are some things that we look for when we're looking for perfection? Well, something I look for is intelligence. Um, it's really cool to see how brilliant some people really are. So if I know two plus two equals four, am I brilliant? I don't know if that cuts it, Julie. That's, <laughs> that's pretty second second grade there all right well maybe i'm not the most brilliant but i'm no dummy what about you natalie what do you look for for perfection i think that and then also kind um talented how someone lives their life right so you have to be brilliant if you want to be perfect for Nate. You need to be kind and live a perfect life if you want to be perfect for Natalie. For me, you just need to have four paws, two cute fuzzy little ears, and a cute little meow for me to be perfect. But if I'm being honest, someday I would love a handsome, smart man who is super tall, a movie star, and is super, super rich. But enough about me. Let's hear from our viewers about what they look for to make somebody perfect. Back to you.